juice plus gas equals pop. <laughs> the day what none of us theme park enthusiasts wanted has finally come. After 26 years, the iconic Bubble Works ride here at Chester World Adventures Resort is to close. And I'm joined by numerous theme park worldwide vlog stars and friends of the channel as well to celebrate the fantastic 26 years of history that this ride has begun. When this ride opened in 1990, it was based on Professor Burke, had amazing theme scenery throughout, a whole thematic storyline based around Fizzy Drink Factory. John Wardley really wanted to bring this whole family market to the park. Chesterton Zoo wasn't doing very well. We put in this, we put in Vampire, Transylvania was born. 2006, that was changed. Imperial Ladder was brought in by the old owners, Two Swords Group, to completely change this ride into how we see it today. 2014, the sponsorship ends and the Bubble Works is left as we see it today. On its final day, a day that we're all gonna remember, the final day of Bubble Works. And here he is, Professor Berg. Also known as, uh, am I allowed to say your real name? No. It's, uh, it's, what, what, what's, his, what's your famous quote that you wanted to say to the viewers again? I can't remember. Oh, it's Professor Burke. Juice plus gas, gas equals Bart <laughs> Obviously Martin's here. Hello. We've also got the one and only Mark, Megaphobia Lewis. Hang on, you're actually in a vlog what's not at, uh, in Wales. I know. Not at Oakland. No woodies, no woodies. There we go. Sammy's here, Charlotte's here. We're also joined by various of the vlog stars. Chris is here, Lee's here. I'm sure we're going to see various different people throughout the day. And we're going to be talking a lot about Bubble Works. Obviously, we're here in the station. One of the most iconic parts of this ride, of course, is its soundtrack. And so in what's remained, not very much changed over the years. Obviously, the soundtrack in the end has remained the same. It's absolutely fantastic, and I adore this ride. I understand that parks have got to develop. But I think after 26 years to see this close, it is a really, really sad moment. There it is. And that's Chris Franklin himself, actually. Here he is. How are, how are the fountains you got them warmed up for me? Full power. Full power? Full power. Where, where, are where, where, where are the fountains? Full power, mate. Are they? Full power. Chris Franklin, everybody. Hooray. So let's get on on one of our final rides. Obviously, we're going to be riding throughout the day today. I'm going to get various different angles, various different thoughts on what these guys think about this ride closing. And of course, the speculation surrounding what is going to replace the bubble works. The Chesterton have said that the new ride will open in March 2017. Does that mean the ride system is going to stay? I mean, it looks like it will do. To rip out a ride system in that amount of time, it's pretty much impossible to replace it with a new one. Uh, so I'd say the ride system is going to stay. It's going to be re-themed. Who knows what it's going to be re-themed to at the moment. Let's get on another ride on Bubble Works. The last time after 26 years this music will be blasted through this station. It's so sad. A John Wardley classic. It is a John Wardley classic. I am Goodbye, so sad. John Wardley. Oh. Goodbye, John Wardley. Hang on, John's not dead, he's still alive. Yeah. Don't tell me about that. There we go. <laughs> of course, any true diehard fans of the Bubble Works will agree with me in a way that when I say that this ride kind of died in 2006 when Imperial Leather did take over the Bubble Works and changed it from a fizzy drinks factory into how we see it today, into like a sort of sponsorship ride for Imperial Leather. They did the same to the Flume at Alton Towers. It came in here and it was a shame to see that theme go. All the Professor Burb items were removed, replaced with ducks and bottles of uh, bubble bath, that sort of thing. It was a shame, but again, you know, the ride has still got a very special place in a lot of people's hearts. Let's get on and have a go on the Bubble Works. It's going forever, 26 years of making memories. Goodbye, the bubble works. Goodbye, the bubble works. Let's get to the fountain. Let's go and sing where the fountains go. As Brian just said, we're going to tight squeeze, squeeze in, in this boat. Look at this one. There's the girls behind. And of course, we're joined by Ooh. the milkman. Oh my goodness. Do you still like milk? You or can't not? say that. No, 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 no. Martin. He's the Burt man. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Burt. This is your room, you need to say your quote. Go, go, go. Trust and bubble. Trust and bubble. This feels weird to be on this on its closing day. In the middle of the season, it's not even November. 
There's, what year did There's you first ride? Queue. There's a massive queue outside. What year did you first ride the bubble works, Martin? Uh, I think it will have to be early 90s, wow, just so after it first. You started. remember the original? Well, this was like this was actually like my uh, local park because wow. I played things. I can't tell by your accent. Uh, all right, geezers. <laughs> Welcome to London, mate. In it. <laughs> You've lost three subscribers on your channel. <laughs> The question is, how much of this scenery is going to remain for the new ride? I mean, like we say, it's still unknown what it's going to be themed to. It's a shame about the audio in this section. This has not been working for a while. I mean, obviously, with the ride uh, closing, the park obviously haven't maintained the effects and things this year, which is a shame. Out for the camera! This is one of my favourite scenes in the ride. Of course, this changed a little bit when they uh, changed the ride over in 2006, but it used to be the fartometer. Uh, I mean, a lot of you might remember that. I like the roller coaster bit. Yeah, yeah. It used to be the cola coaster, didn't it, that yeah, one? Yeah, uh, Now the uh, duck, duck and dive coaster, but not for much longer. Quite a lot of these items have been auctioned off. I mean, the ducks just there are some of the items that have been auctioned. However, they made it quite clear that the springs that hold the ducks up are staying and won't be auctioned. So, like I say, we could be just seeing a simple retheme here. We could still see some iconic effects stay. There it is. It used to be known as the Cola Coaster. Would it be IP branded at all, this new uh, development? Or do you have any see the Imperial Leather branding. If you look at the top just there, you'll see the outline of Imperial Leather's logo that has been ripped off all of these little uh, bottles just here. I mean, this is the state the ride's been in for the past two years, really. Such a shame. Whee! Here they come. Whee! Are you ready for Where Are The Fountains? But don't worry, viewers, this won't be the last time you hear me sing it. We'll be coming on it plenty more times throughout the day, so you don't have to worry about that. It's like very much like corkscrew last last day today. It does. It's like everybody's here. It's a geek fest. It is a geek Where fest. Where are the TV companies? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't think you need the TV companies when you've got vloggers here. But it's weird that it's got half an hour queue outside, and this is his last day. I mean, uh -oh. Uh -oh. here we go. The eagle-eyed viewers who know this ride very well will already notice that the bath time sign has been removed from the top. And this is it. Who's ready to get a little bit wet? We're going to get a bit moist. One of our final times into the fountains. There we go. One of the most iconic scenes in the UK dark ride is about to close. The classic bubble work. Here we go. One more time, viewers. Where are the fountains? Where are the fountains? Go by fountains! The fountains are no more! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's so sad! Where are the fountains? <laughs> it makes me so sad to think that this is going to go, and this will be one of the last times that I'll be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, the fuck. Yeah, goodbye, the fuck. Come on, viewers, one more time, sing it out. Go by the fountain. Go by the fountain. The fountain of the more. That is of the more. That was beautiful. I'm going to be wetter than Valhalla by the end of today. That was great, but that's nothing on how wet I'm going to get later on. That's you'll see later. Love it.
I am absolutely soaked, but that was worth every second. Wasn't it, Thomas? Yeah. Big fan of the channel. Yeah. What year did you first ride the iconic Bubble Works? 2005. 2005. So you did it the year before it got changed into how we see it today, pretty much, yeah. with the Imperial Leather sponsorship. There you go. Are you going to miss this ride? Yeah. Yeah, you seem a bit unsure on that one. I mean, how would you rate it in terms of your other rides at Chessington? Um, eight. Eight, eight out of ten? Could be better. What, what's your favourite ride at the park? Um, my favourite ride's Vampire. Vampire. Good yeah. choice. Well, nice to meet you, Thomas. Yeah. Have, a, have a good day. Have some more rides on the Bubble Works. There you yeah. go. Here we go. <laughs> Round number two. The milkman. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where have you gone? I'm here. No, where, where have you gone? As in, where, where have you gone? Uh, well, I'm here. I've only just arrived. The glasses, the hair. What? Oh, uh, that, hang on. Let, let me just... Are, are you pretending that you weren't Professor Bob at the start? Yes. Oh, okay. So, what do you mean, where have I been? So, Alex has now joined us. Yeah, Professor Bob's gone over. It's exciting for bubble works. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Our second ride there of the day, Lee. When did you first ride the bubble works at Chessington? Probably 2007. 2007, so you never well, actually... Potentially 2006. So potentially, the, the first year he got changed over, but you never did the original? No, no. You never did, Professor Bird. So, to, to you, you know, of course, it is sad, but it's not, because you didn't see yeah, didn't the see days of this ride, which was 1990 to 2005. Yeah, I wasn't here then. Oh, it's I can't believe it. Until 2006. There you go, that's crazy. Stalf was the ride Stalf that brought you down south, wasn't it? Down south. Yeah, that's crazy, but it, it, I suppose you're still sad about it because yeah, it is a great yeah, ride, a good but ride, yeah. you know, maybe another, not quite as sad as the people that did the original. Another classic that's going. It is another classic. I was talking about this earlier, actually. I mean, in terms of Chessington and classic, so you, you know, like, you did this, didn't you, back in uh, when did you ride it for 2003? 2003, so he did it as Professor Burks as well. And Chessington are gradually, they have removed quite a lot of classics. The old runaway train, which has now become Scorpion Express, uh, that's gone the fifth dimension, of course, as well. Uh, that's been changed. So obviously these rides are still here, but under a different format. And obviously from what we can tell so far, it is going to be the same for the bubble work. It is still going to be here as a ride system, but of course the re-theme is coming. But uh, what's, your, what's your favourite part of the ride, or is that a silly question? All of it. All the of it. Uh, the fountains. 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 Uh, the fountains are great. Amanda and Thompson's fountain special. I know, do, do you reckon if they do get rid of the fountains? I mean, this is so they could keep the fountains. They might not go anywhere, you know. Hopefully, if they keep the fountains, then the Where Are The Fountains song, you know, it's void, isn't it? If you don't know why I'm singing Where Are The Fountains, it isn't because they're going, it is because I did a vlog here a couple of years ago and the fountains were turned off and I was really sad and that is where Where Are The Fountains began that craze. Where are the fountains? We're in that. They're in that big warehouse. Yeah, the warehouse. So let's go on. Are you ready for a ride with us? I'm ready for a ride. Here we go. We'll have another crazy yeah, ride nice on the picture. wall. Bubble Works. A nice picture yeah, yeah. of you on this ride. You know what? I might even buy the photo today. I might buy a hard copy, not a digipass, an actual it, hard copy. Hard. It depends if they've got the actual covers as well, what say Bubble Works on, then I'll probably buy no, one just for my collection. Are they not? I think it's just a chest. A generic cover. Generic chest. We'll find out. We'll ask the staff and, uh, and get on. But uh, yeah, what, what no, a shame. Um, what a shame. No, uh, no certificates like they got on the cultures last day. I know, yeah. It would have been nice yeah. if they'd have done some special merchandise, wouldn't it, to commemorate the ride. Yeah. Uh, but let's get on anyway we'll, with Mr. Lee Wood on this let's one. Let's get on the ride. Get some bubbles flowing. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Bubble, what? services here because Dean's not here. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Try and when you T, P, uh, you need to clean your tiles. You need to get some, some tile cleaner. Those tiles, they're cleaning. They need, they need Those tiles, tiles. They're cleaning. Yeah, forget the curtains. They don't need cleaning. The tiles, come on, get them clean. These dirty tiles, everyone. Right, hashtag, these dirty tiles. tiles. Hey. 
this view from the station is one of the most iconic parts of the ride. And when the new ride comes in, I really hope this whole indoor queue line and the bridge will stay in so you get a nice view of the station, whatever it may be. As Lee just pointed out, Imperial Leather. <laughs> Never noticed that in the couple of years it's done well. Come on. It's coming off, it's coming off. It won't matter, no one's going to see it after about five hours' time. How refreshing. Right, number two. jokes what used to be inside this ride and it's a shame that when it did get sponsored by Imperial Leather for 2006 that a lot of those jokes were removed I mean I remember so much about the original and seeing it as it is today does make me sad and obviously like I said earlier on in the vlog right near the start some people will feel like this ride has been put out of its misery some people won't have a connection to this bubble works and they'll just remember the original but it's uh, Of the day, even when the ride did change to how it is today, it's still a really good fun ride, and it will be a shame to see it replaced if it is replaced by an IP. Uh, you know, I mean, an IP, an intellectual property, something like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Toyland Tours at Alton Towers was ripped out and replaced by that, and now look where it is. You know, the license ran out, and the ride sitting there, SBNO. So, hopefully, dear God, I don't want the same thing to happen to this in years to come. Probably one of the scenes that changed the most actually when it reopened in 2006. I was actually here on the last day uh, when it originally opened and it was sad to be there on the last day in 2005 when it originally closed and here again but this is definitely for the last time. It's really sad isn't it? It is. Emotional time. I mean, this bit's great, but it's the end bit what really makes some, it, Some it? people are thinking, you know, we need to get over it, it's a dark ride, but some people don't realise the legacy some people have had in the years and memories people have on this like, ride. Like Charlotte and some of the other vlog stars, for example, the only road, like Charlotte rode it for the first time in October, for her, it's not quite as spectacular as it is for us, you know, to see a ride like this, so. Right, ready for some fountains? Fountain time. Are you ready to get wet, Lee? I'm going to make you wetter than you've ever been before oh, inside no, this no. engine, so oh, get ready. No. It's oh, coming. No. Viewers, you might get wet. Might get wet. Come along for the ride.
I am absolutely dripping wet through, but it was well worth it for Bubble Works. Now the other guys have gone for some pizza and pasta. And it's just me and Sean, we're having a nice candle lit dinner, as you can see the candle just uh, there. Uh, 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 yeah. Invisible candle, <laughs> there you go. Vinegar pot. Oh, what have you got there then, Martin? Uh, steak and kidney pie and chips. That looks nice, and I've got... Too bad. A nice battered sausage. Oh, I love a good comes battered from sausage. Bidvest, everybody. The food comes from Bidvest. Bidvest? Merlin, yeah, that's right. 3663. There you go, Bidvest. Interesting fact of the day for you from Mr. Martin Hartwood. Uh, there you go, this is the captain's fish and chips, and this was actually done last year. Much better, this is. I mean, this used to be an outdoor seating area. So when it used to chuck down with rain, you couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't sort of sit anywhere in the dry. Obviously, the outdoor seats are still there outside, but this whole indoor area was done. And it's nice, it's got music playing. It's very pretty. You've got the it's black book in here over there. Yeah. It's my first time, isn't it? It is, it's nice. I mean, it just shows that Merlin are. Yeah, you know, keeping to the themes of the park by doing a pirate fish and chip shop. That's why, you know, what replaces Bubble Works is even more important. Is it going to be Transylvania themed? You know, the, the uh, park are clear to... I think that yeah. area is slowly dying, You reckon? Yeah. That best not mean goodbye the vampire. Uh, I hope not. Another re theme, I think. You reckon? Yeah, probably. In the It'd be future. interesting to see, obviously, probably. a few of the effects and things of Vampire Room. Say, yeah. None of us do. You know, at the end of the day, Vampire, the chandeliers and the station, they were actually took down a couple of years back. So, is it the start of Vampire going? Who knows? Could it be the end of Transylvania? Who knows at the end of the day? You know, 26 years Vampire's been going. Yes, it's had new trains from Vacoma, uh, you know, years back. But at the end of the day, it could be the end for that in the next few years too. And that will be another really, really sad day. So I'm going to tuck into my uh, sausage and chips and we'll have some uh, more rides. It keeps, there is a god! <laughs> it keeps going on and off. I mean, we had it on earlier, then it went off for ages. Oh, it's like the loops broke or something. One thing I do want to point oh, out, though, we're I did, so happy to hear music. I did just zoom out from that sign that says 45 minutes. It ain't. And then the music started. Queue, is it? No, it's not 45 minutes. I mean, now the back of the queues out there. All the queues today, I've noticed. It's busy. Like, if you didn't realise, today is uh, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, the 6th of September today, the Found Able Works. And, you know, it is busy. We thought the kids would be at school today, but obviously not. There's a lot of kids here. Or they're all skiving because they thought it was the last day when I got it <laughs> on. Right, maybe that. But uh, we've waited about, what, 10 minutes now? We've started there, all the way down there, all the way back up here. So we're actually not too bad. We're about 15 minutes from getting on, so the key realistically is about 25 minutes. On the board, what does it say now? 8, 75. 75. So 75, yeah. So there you go. Don't believe the keyboards. That's my advice for you. Come here. Don't believe the keyboards. Just queue it. Wait it out. It might not be as quite as long as you think. Third ride then. I'm all works. I really enjoyed my battered sausage. It was nice, that was. Did you enjoy your, it was your a steak nice, pie? It was a nice meal, a nice romantic dinner that we oh, had. Dinner for two on the last day of Bubble Works. So we're waiting for the other guys to come down from their pizza and pasta. And then I'm sure they'll join us again for another ride. It's great to see a good turnout there for the final bay. In terms of merchandise and things, they haven't actually released like a t-shirt or anything. I mean, Court Screw's closing day at Alton Towers. There was a special t-shirt, what they did, a special poster which had like a limited edition number in the bottom. I mean, I was kind of expecting they might do a special bit of merchandise, but unfortunately they haven't. Uh, were you there that day, Court Screw or not? I was there that day. Oh. I mean, this feels very, very different. I mean, really because it is in the middle of the season and it's busy. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think that this has a 25 minute queue on its closing day, whereas on Corkscrew, if you were queuing 25 minutes for Corkscrew yeah. on its closing day, that would be a long queue. It would. That I mean, would. the thing is with this, I think people still love it, that's the problem. This ride on a busy summer day, yeah. it, it could actually get a two hour queue, you know, and that wasn't over exaggerations. The queues this summer and every summer are right back up into Market Square, you know, yeah. so it let's does hope. feel weird to be saying goodbye to a John Wardley classic like this. It does. I wonder how John feels, you know. <laughs> 
Such a shame. It was the same with the Haunted House, though, when it got changed to Jewel. Yeah. That was a dark day. You know, I remember riding it in 2002, and there was a sign literally fastened up outside uh, where the zombie stands now. There's like a little graveyard there, a little gravestone, and a sign just attached to the board saying, uh, like, the Haunted House returns, strikes back for 2003. And obviously back then, you know, I was in my teen, teen years, and I thought, you know what? what? What's happening to my beloved Haunted House? And look what happened. We got Jewel. <laughs> on that note, let's get on. In the original version of the ride, some of you might remember this wall just here. All these posters were actually hand painted onto the wall. Uh, when the ride was rethemed, these new ones were stuck over the top. So it does make you wonder are the actual original painted ones still underneath? People have paid good money for those. numerous changes over the years. Used to be all scenery there. Uh, more recently, there was mirrors on the back wall. There was bubbles on there. There was like a, a what? <laughs> oh, man. Mental. Popping again soon. I wish we could. I really wish we could. Popping again soon. Goodbye, Fountain! Nice piece of scenery, that. Do you feel all good yet? Yeah, very. Carry it's on. Coming off, not... oh. <laughs> How was your pizza and pasta, Charlotte? It was what? I can't hear you. It was nice. It was nice. And you brought me some pick and mix. Hashtag good girlfriend. Thank you, you got my favourites. If you ever want to buy me, pick a mix for you if you see me at the parks. Them ones at the bottom, just there. There you go, you can have them back now. following address and postcode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you right, Lee? How was your, your food? Very nice. So much fun. Fourth ride coming up on Bubble Works now for me. Fourth ride, fourth ride. I really want to buy one of those lanyards and pin badges. Where can I buy them from? What's that? I really want to buy a lanyard and pin badge. Where can I buy them? Email from? shop at themeparkworldwide.co.uk. Are you pointing to it, are you? Well, yeah, it's not at the bottom, it's at the top today. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Who are you saying sorry to, Bert? <laughs> Someone actually commented, what did they comment on one of the posts? Um, it's in uh, some competition with this hairdo. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Which, which looks better? Oh. Oh, look at that. The, the real thing. The real thing. The real thing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alex. 
wondering what you've just tuned into. This is Theme Bar Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> well, yeah. Them glasses are a bit, uh, a bit small for you. Yeah. I can only fit them on my head. I think on the ride, Lee needs to wear the whole thing. Yeah. Are you going to do it for the viewers? Yeah. Love it. Cue hole, please. No cue holding. Da, 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 da. No cue holding, please. Thank you. No cue holding. Vampire, what a beauty. It's crazy to think that the vampire in this whole area is 26 years old. Now, imagine being, you know, coming here in 1990 and coming here for the first time, riding Bubble Works, riding Vampire. Both rides, of course, changed very much over the years. I do remember when I first rode the Vampire, uh, I only had one ride on it, actually, where it was the original back cars, and I used to absolutely adore it, and then I came the year after to find that they'd been replaced uh, with the suspended swinging cars that they are today. I do feel like it used to swing so much more as well when Vampire used to have the old back cars. I mean, it was a Chesterton classic. Nearly as much as the bubble works. <laughs> what are you doing, Sammy? Oh, <laughs> you got a little friend there. What are, what are you doing? What's this? I think you look the most convincing out of everyone, to be honest. Don't you? Professor, Bar Professor Fart, this is. Professor who? Rain Fart. Professor Fart. <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? You're like Einstein. Oh, quite intimidating. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, let's get that bow tie on. Let's straighten you up a bit. Oh, there we go. I'll get the lanyard in. We've met oh, so man. many Theme Park Worldwide fans whilst we've been here at Bubble Works today. And I've just been given, I'll show you when we come off this ride, a really nice girl just gave me a customised Bubble Works t-shirt with a little quote of mine on there. Hashtag, bye bye the fountains. Thank you very much for making that. It's really very bad day. And it's great to see all of you guys out here while you're at the parks. Make sure if you do see us while you're here, stop us for a quick picture and then we'll uh, put them here in the show. Are you all right? Martin's upset me. Why? Stop talking to me. What, what, what have you said to Charlotte? That's just said nobody wants to speak like her. Oh, we met a little girl and she said she wants to be just like Charlotte. Where are the fountains? A threat from a brummy saying they're going to send you on the M6 toll. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, right, we've gone for the moment of truth right. now, Lee. We're about to go in. Here we yeah, go. In, yeah. get, get these specs on. <laughs> are they going to fit on there, are they? Oh, oh. <laughs> He's got quite a big head, is Lee. They're <laughs> oh. not supposed to fit on the first time in here, though. Grandfather, Lee. Hello. God, he's had it 20 years just by putting the glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah. yeah, you sound like Mr. Lee Wood, that, the Valhalla guy. Would be Why Wood. is my factory closing? I don't know. <laughs> Your factory closed back in 06, <laughs> mate. The ducks have been taken over since. Nice. <laughs> Why are the ducks taken over? Like? The ducks took over many years ago. This is just the final, that's it, the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Those damn ducks. <laughs> they ruined my factory. Oh. Let, come on, let's take you on for riding your factory. Take back my factory. I've got some fizzy pop waiting for you inside. This is a Harry's uncle. Is <laughs> it? Yeah, I'm his uncle. Look at the hair. Mr. Yeah. Bubbleworks. There you go. Professor Bill, can, oh. can we give me a bit, please? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a negative. What's that? <laughs> It's a negative from Lee. Let's get him in the station. This will be absolutely. I'm roasting in this. Hilarious. Can we get Seven into my ten, factory please. quick? It's even hotter in your factory. Seven out of ten for these costumes. Seven out of ten. Seven, Seven out of ten. I give you an eight. Welcome to my factory. Hello, yeah. hello. Oh, wrong ride. Wrong dark ride. If Valhalla was closed, I'd be even more sad. This is what is coming for 2017 of Valhalla. <laughs> Bubble. I wish it was. Oh my god, Professor Burp himself. Welcome, Juma. <laughs> Professor Burp's even wearing a theme park worldwide lanyard. Yes, we've got to get it on. Let's go. Come on. The ducks and get rid of those ducks. Get the ducks gone. The, the, the ducks. ducks' days are numbered. Yes, the, the ducks', ducks days are numbered. It's all about those fountains. Keep those fountains. Are those fountains on? The fountains, the fountains are on. The fountains are what? On. On. I'm 
not allowed to get to my hair with you. Oh, no. Don't get your hair wet. Right? I feel like Harry Turn style. <laughs> Mr. Leewood, everybody! I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye now. laughs> hey. Hey. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you used to sit over there, mate, on a desk, and you were replaced by a bathtub. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> Better for you. <laughs> Talk to me about your factory. Well, as you can see, here's the foamer. That is the do not twist the bubble. This is the bubble mixing machine. Okay. The bubble bubble. We have to move out with the bubble farm. <laughs> do you like soap or lemon? <laughs> They're playing with my feet. Tickle, tickle, tickle. That is the tickle test. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. I don't know what is going on up there. But it's not safe. Here we have the £2,000 rubber dub testing process. Hey, rubber dub reactor. I spent that with all my pennies. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have a broken effect. Oh, it's very open. Yes, I fixed that this morning. Welcome Style. to the spa. <laughs> the spa? There's my best friend. Nelly the elephant. <laughs> and there, there's all of us vlog stars in my octo. Vlog stars in Sean's hot tub. I wish they did have octo. <laughs> oh, sorry, one moment. I can't have my photo in my factory. Ready for your photo? Oh, no, no, no. My own. <laughs> yeah. That's with the camera room. Oh. Are you choking on all that fizzy drink? What, what's that there? What's that? That's the lavender machine. Oh. Are you a good egg that or is, a bad egg? That is excellent. You're a good egg. Here we go. This is where the ducks take over. The ducks take the numbers. What are these ducks doing, Lily? What are they doing in there? The Fermi Fun Dunkin' Dogs. Dogs. In my factory. Get out, ducks. Get out. The minute is 2006, mate. I've never seen them before. The ducks are uh, having a party. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> what are the dogs doing? Ripping out your factory. It How do you feel? like they're having fun. You've been here since 1990 and this is what you've done. The cola coaster, the duck and diving oh, yes. ride to I don't mind the ducks having a ride on the roller coaster. But what about the old cola coaster? The cola coaster, oh yes, I do remember. It was a classic. This is the bottle going round and round. And what about these Imperial leather stickers that have just been ripped off and left to rot for the past two years? Oh no, yes, you can still see them. Imperial leather. Time to explore the best part of my factory. The fountain machine! Yeah! Where are those fountains? But Mr. Burp, where are we going? To the fountain! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burp, yes. do you know the lyrics to the famous theme park worldwide song? I unfortunately I do. Well let's Where sing along go? together. Here we go. Where Get ready, me and Mr. Burp. Not just yet. Get ready to sing along at home. Come on, it's the fourth time on this. You must know the words by now. Put your pizza down and sing. Where are fountains? Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> I can take my hair! Bye! Thank you for the tour. No worries! Bye. I hope you're liking my tour. <laughs>
What the hell just happened? I do not know. What happened there? Hello! Enjoy the talk! Deep down in the woods of Transylvania, there's a little footpath with some gravestones on. And this little beauty here, a lot of diehard fans of the park will probably know all about this, but if you don't, here it is. This is the Professor Burp gravestone. Professor Burp Gone with the Wind, 1990 to 2006. So obviously that's from the original ride. Obviously Professor Burp was the main character inside there that Lee Wood was trying to replicate just. And if you come down this little pathway, a little bit of Chesterton history for you on your way down into Transylvania. The there you go. Well, you, you didn't know that was it, did right. you? Just behind the Black Buccaneer. It's the pirate ship. It's just a Amazing. little bit of history for it. I wonder if they're going to put another one in or if they're going to update it and just say Bubble Works in general 1990 to 2016. Who knows? Who knows? Come but not forgotten. After 26 years, the final public ride on Bubble Works. Yes, we'll be attending the press event this evening. But in terms of public ride, this is it, our last one. I mean, it's sad. It is really sad. Catherine's here as well. Are you all right, Catherine? Are you ready to get wet? Oh, yeah, absolutely so. Hey, oh, fancy. Everyone's here. Everyone. Hey. This is it. Oh, you might have only discovered this ride last year, but. You know, here's the last one for you. Well, the last few. Uh, the last few. We have been lucky enough to be invited to the special event to be held this evening here in Chesterton, which we do really appreciate, which is nice. So we'll get a few more rides in it later on. Uh, but our last public ride on the tickle test. Funny dance moves. Yeah! Tickle test for you. Tickle, tickle, tickle. The tickle test. The thing what I'm going to miss most about this ride is the audio and the fountain finale. Both of those are the real things that make this ride for me. The other scenes changed quite a lot over the years, as I mentioned throughout this Bubble Works special vlog. Uh, but it's the fountain finale that's pretty much stayed the same sort of idea uh, you know, since that originally opened in 1990. And it makes me really sad to think that this is one of the last times we're going to see that. It really is. Let's hope that whatever gets put in here next year is going to be really, really good and be a worthy replacement to a John Wardley 1990 classic. Let's go! statues of Professor Burb and it really was a very magical experience. Yes, over the years it has deteriorated and I can see why they want to try and freshen it up and give it a brand new lease of life but it's just a shame that in this day and age it can't be, you know, a complete re sort of repaint of Bullworth, bring it back to how it was, bring back Professor Burp, that sort of thing and it's a shame that it's not looking like it's going to be that, it really is, it really is. Smile for the photo. Of course, throughout this vlog we've shared a lot of our memories from Bubble Works, so make sure you comment below with your favourite Bubble Works memory. Yes, the ride has been here since 1990, so comment below on the video, I always read through the comments. Comment below your best memory, what you've had here on the Bubble Works at Chesterton.
So we're now joined by a very, very special guest, the one and only Professor Burr. Hello, sir! Hey. Enjoy the tour. And please remember this secret formula. Juice plus gas equals... Oh, <laughs> I, I remember the formula. Yeah, have, you, have you got anything else for the viewers? Oh, yes. Well? Remember, you go through the juicing room, you go into the extraction room, you see the broken pipes. Ah, would someone please fix the splits before we all split our sides? <laughs> <laughs> Come oh. now, we must be sensible and serious. And finally, we move on, on, to the recycling. And this is where I recycle all the empty bottles. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Professor Boo. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice there you to go. Meet you. Nice Start to meet you. Now. We'll see you later on. Later. I'll where are the, hashtag where are the fountains? Where are the fountains? In where the, in are there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been about an hour now since the ride actually closed to the general public, and it's time for the press event of the war is closing, where we're bringing some nice. Prosecco, very nice by the park, and we've got some different boards and things all around explaining around this classic Chessington Dart ride. This is really nice actually how they put these round, creating the factory, building the factory. So we'll take a closer look at those later on. As we move around this way, we've got some uh, original things from the ride. So smell me, nice man of Bubbleworks factory, you might spot me on your factory tour. Lift wheel. The lift wheel is used halfway through the ride as the boats travel down a ramp on their way to the grand finale with the fountains and this wheel has been used since 1990. Giant bottle casts and more features from the original bubble work. This is sound card, so that's where all the music from the attraction is played through this sound card. Uh, the music is loaded onto this and then played through an amplifier throughout the whole ride. Different scenes have different soundtracks uh, throughout the ride, so obviously different sound cards with that. This just says, feel me, these bubbles have grown themselves. Ooh. My hands are a little bit moist now after that. Of course, you've got a few of the different uh, things around the attraction there as well. And here they are, here's Theme Park World Wide. Hey. How is everyone? Are you enjoying your drinks? Not too bad. Hey. What's that? Well, we can be fit, don't you want? What for? Yeah. I think it's going to stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> um, what we've got, we've got loads of Cadbury's animals. Chester has treated us really well so far this evening. Yeah, so, uh, cheers. The last final day of Bubble is 26 years of history. Hey. There we go. Bye -bye. I can't reach you, Charlotte. Cheers. Rest in peace, Bubble Works. Bye bye, Bubble Works. Children, drink responsibly. created a nice kind of uh, atmosphere for the closing ride though. It is, it's really nice. Ride. It is nice that they've done this, I must say. We're very lucky to be here today. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I am sad that this ride is closing after all these years, but I'm not going to cry about it. No, no. development no. has to happen. And they are trying to create a happy atmosphere. For this final, at the end of the day, they could have done nothing, they could have closed it exactly. at the end of the season and not warned anybody, you know, so I appreciate Chester a lot for that. Alex, how do you feel now? This really is the last ride you're going to have on Bubbleworks. The ride was never particularly special to me until I think this day. I think you don't appreciate things until they're gone. I think we are going to be really sad to see Bubbleworks go here in Chester. There you go. It Mr. doesn't Lee feel like it. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, quite emotional, actually. It's very yeah, sad. It's sad to see a big classic like this disappear. It is a classic, it really is. Charlotte. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? It is, but I haven't grown up with it. Yeah, if you've not really grown up with it, it's one of those things, isn't it? Say, so, like, Harry, when did you first ride on the... Uh, on I, the... I was younger when I came here. I can't remember me ever coming on this. Um, like, like you said, it's sad, but at the same time, look how joyful it is. Like. It is. It's joyful. <laughs> this is it, Martin. It is it. it 
the last ride, just me and you, yeah, just like our like table right. net did us earlier on. Just like we're gonna we just imagine just eating fish and chips just here in our boat. Uh, but it's a lovely atmosphere. You you you, you cannot see it on camera, but it's a lovely atmosphere. It really is. I always remember this. We're messing up. Life, you know, is much like the course through closing day. Yeah. Let's enjoy it. Here it is, our uh, one of our final rides. Oh, I was there on the course through closing day. Oh, I'm here this for is this. it. It's just so iconic, isn't it? I mean, it's been when they're seven in 1990. A UK ride didn't have this level of theming. I mean, this is what started theme parks as we know it. Uh, in the UK. And this is how John Wardley started. It is. John Wardley's a bank for this. Obviously not the rise we see today, but the original concept He started ride. the UK theme park he industry. Did. How he did. You know, he started the, the UK theme park industry. And it's John to thank for yeah. everything. And also the guys at Sparks Creative, who did a lot of the development work with the Bub Works as well. Uh, you know, it, it's, so very, it's just so sad, isn't it? But look at it. It might not be what it once used to be, but this really is the final nail in the coffin for this ride. Oh, it's moving. Hey. Goodbye, Bubbleworks. Hashtag bye bye Bubbleworks. Bye bye Fountains. No. No more Fountains. I hope the Fountains survive, please. No more Fountains. No, don't, you're making me cry. <laughs> Hello! This is it guys, this really is it! No! Take me to the captains! Bye Sammy and Alex! Bye! Bath time! Are you ready for your final bath? Yep, yeah, I'm ready for my final bath. This is it! No more duckies! No. Yeah. I don't want to get too wet. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this so much. We're all about it. We're all about
I think I'll say all my lines on the way around. I think you should do. Say all your lines for the viewers of Theme Park World. Welcome to the old juicing room. We have the orange squash, we have ermine shrewd right over there, and that's how we make the bubbles. And right here, we have the extraction room. How we put the gas into the lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, we must be sensible and serious. <laughs> and now, that moment of catastrophe leads to the next bit. The giant bubble with the big angry face, you know? Oh. That would scare so many children when they were younger. Now, he's much happier. See? Look, there he is. There he is. Bye! Bye-bye! This is my favourite room. One, because right now we are above Vampire. That door leads to it right there. And here we have several fantastic jokes. Here we have spring water, which is a bucket of water on a spring. Ha! Here, Jules Jacuzzi screws the bubble backers, put some bananas in there instead. Yeah. And the duck, he's gone, he's gone. Get rid of the duck. Get the duck's gone. Duck's gone. Duck stays in the room. mangoes. Evil ducks. Hello, Vera. Okay, photo time. Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. Three, two, one. Hello, Vera. Beautiful. And this is the old fartometer. Yeah, the fartometer. He's a lot of fartometer. Ah. And now come, um, what does they go? They go quack. There's a lot of them. If you were to count the ducks here, we'd be here for a very long time. Ah, we don't like ducks. We don't want ah. the ducks. <laughs> this guy, he's been spinning for the last ten years. Ten years, of he must be dizzy. Is he as dizzy as you? That's the question. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> It's great though. If we were to jump off and grab the duck, we would stop moving. This is all the mechanics of bird dances. So it's easy to say, if you were to grab this, we're not going to, but it would stop moving. I've done it before. <laughs> so they've got sensors on, so if someone did climb out, no, it would stop your face. Like this is very simple. It looks very complicated to exist, but still it's simple, circular motors. This ride is very, very easy to maintain and operate. The most complicated bit is the ramp coming up for the bit of computers. Stuff, it's easy to maintain. The only thing that really goes wrong with this ride is the ramp. Because this ride, you see this boat here, it takes one, two, three, four people. And we have 28 boats. So that is 112 people could be on bubble bugs at one time. You are very, very informative on this ride. I'm not a professor for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it a very good throughput. And we love good throughputs on rides, don't we? It soon gets people through. Yes, absolutely. Because the people ride the Dragon's Fury Vampire. Fantastic. But they take you know, 30 at the time, you know. Um, 112. When we get into the fountain room, we always say, bye bye, fountain. Bye bye, fountain. I'm going to say bath time, everybody. And then I'll sing hey. You're right, Lee and Harry. Hello, Lee and Harry. Say hello to Mr. Burr. Hello to Mr. Burr. Uh, hey. oh. Lee Wood's your biggest fan down there. I love, I love. Ich liebe dich. Yeah. So you see the laser here. Whatever you do, make sure you don't blow off. We don't want you to blow off. And of course, the firework finale. Ha! 
now bow that view as a ride with the one and only Professor Burp of the Bubble Works. Thank you very much for You're your welcome. exclusive tour around the factory 1990 to 2016. It might have changed in 2006, but thank you very much for the tour. Professor Burp, everybody! Yeah. There we go. Professor Burp himself with the dicky bow, what you might recognise from earlier on as well. We go again? Ooh, what an absolute legend. One more time, Professor Burp! Yay! There we go. Great. We go again. Ladies and gentlemen, say bye to the station. No. I don't want this to end, Harry. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Maybe I'm yours, but it's not goodbye. Oh, it's so sad. Always remember that no matter what, juice plus gas equals pop. It's officially the end! No! <laughs> the bulwarks has closed. But Chester, and that's it. And we can say our last ride. Our last ride with Professor Burr. With Professor Burr. That was an amazing moment, and I'm glad I managed to get the last ride. We are so lucky to be able to get it. Only two boats got a ride with uh, Professor Burr as well, and we were one or two boats to get it. And mm -hmm. there we go. That is it, the iconic bulwarks. Next time we step in there, it will be a completely new dark ride experience. I mean, that's it. Sad. It is very, very sad, but you know, at the end of the day, it's an iconic ride for this park. 26 years it's been operating, and I'll look forward to seeing the future of the ride. Is it going to be as special in my heart as the Bubble Works was? Probably not. I mean, with this ride, I'm 23 years old now. You know, when I was a kid, I was like seven or eight and growing up with it. So, no, it won't be as special in that respect. But will I enjoy it as an experience? I'm sure I will. It's pretty much certain that the ride system is going to stay, it's going to be a retheme. Let's see what happens, and I'm very open to see what happens to the iconic bubble works. But uh, that is it for the last time. The lights are going off, the animatronics are being shut down, the music's being turned off, and of course, the iconic bubble works fountains being turned off for the last time. Who knows? We might be lucky, they might survive. But that is officially it for the bubble works here at Chessington World of Adventures. A John Walder classic from 1990, officially closed. Sold. The factory is now under new management. There's no more fountains, they're resting forevermore. <laughs>